Well, me and Barrett are gonna go check on the bees. Mm -hmm. I thoroughly expect that there's been a mutiny. No. You don't think? Uh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. We haven't been to check on them in a while. I mean, and... even if some left, that doesn't mean all of them left, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. In a mutiny, there's usually some that stay behind, right? <laughs> Who are faithful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it depends on whether the ship is sinking or not, man. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to find out. Uh... It'd be the nicest one on the water. We're just, I just can't help it, man. We can't give up all our time to the bees anymore. We gotta, we gotta, they gotta trade out bees, guns, bees, guns. We can't just do bees, 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 Sounds bees. Sounds good to me, dude. So, Barrett, what do you think? Oh, it'll be all right. It's gonna be all right. Horses are in the pasture. They're standing up. Yeah, it's standing up. It's firecracker. Say that about any of them. <laughs> no, that brown, the red horse is firecracker. You know how I said I needed a new smoker? Mm. Well, I wasn't telling a lie. I just burned a hole in it. Dang it. Oh, man. Yeah. I guess it'll work a little bit. So, well, let's see what we got. Here, you want to hold that? Hold her still. Uh-oh, there's a moth right there, look. Mm -hmm. Wax moth, I think we're gonna let him die. Oh look Barrett, they've built out. They're definitely getting kind of interested overhead. Really? Look here, look how much they've built out on this frame. Where's my oh. pipe tool? So there hadn't been too much of a mutiny. They've built that frame out. I'm working on it. Oh look, there's honey in there. See? Yep. <laughs> they seem to be a little more active, don't they? Uh, yep. Yeah. A little bit. Are they more on you? Active. Oh, God. I guess I'll give them some smoke. I'm scared. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> just, just remain calm, man. Everything will be okay. Oh, uh, what I want to do, mm -hmm. I guess we can pour this water in here. Just for the fun of it, huh? Yeah, it's getting warmer. It's 80 degrees out here. Can you see? I don't think there was a mutiny. I don't think so either. That's a good sign, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So Barrett, they're working on two frames of honey. Look at this one. Uh oh. You got Bert coming at the end. <coughs> Sorry. It's it may be mad if I broke that off. I don't know. <laughs> We're seeing, ain't we? What is it? Look here. What's that? <laughs> Looks like the start of a queen cell. That's a good thing, isn't it? Super seizure. No, it's not a good thing. But I reckon this time of year. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to see if any of these. Well now, I guess these are the two new, okay, I'm, <laughs> I, uh, really good. I guess I thought these, the new, 
<clears throat> yeah, the smoke's going crazy in it. I guess I thought those were the new frames, but these are the these are the new frames. And this is where all your activity is gonna be. That, um, we got to get our smoker worked out. I think what's going on is we set it on some of that insulation. Now we're getting toxic fumes. <laughs> we can't breathe. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is take this bear. This will be our I'll go into our collection. I think they're getting rowdy. <laughs> I'm going to put this back. But that whole section of the hive over there is very active. So. Just back. We might need to start bringing some sugar water. Gonna watch what I'm doing here. I'm not paying attention. To what I'm vigging vig vig here. Are you over it now? There had a toxic fume attack. Yeah. <coughs> you have one too, man. <coughs> Dang. <coughs> Can you tell that's not regular smoke. Something's it. So, <coughs> got some more burr. Look here, bear. Look at our little burr cone collection. We'll melt this down someday. <coughs> Leave the smoker in there. So, they seem to be doing okay. Yeah. Let me take that. There's where toxic fume came from. Toxic fumes. Thing. The whole thing just caught What'd on fire. What'd you do, man? I was trying to dump it out and the whole thing just caught on fire. Oh, well, we did it now. She's done, man. <laughs> you reckon that was the leather burning? She's done. That's what was choking us? Probably a combination. Huh. She's fried. Well, Barrett, I'm not sure how good that video is going to be. Yeah, we tried. Can you breathe? Between the suffocation and... <laughs> we accidentally set the smoker down on some of that insulation inside of the beehive, the top bar hive. And we, and all of a sudden we're like, <coughs> literally we're like choking out. And I finally figured out it was sitting on top of it and the, the fumes were what we were smelling, inhaling. Yep. Thankfully it wasn't close to the bees. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I think... Uh, it's funny because the bees act like 
and some of them could have left i don't know but there's all these little starts of like super procedure cells you know queen cells which the when they build them on the side of the frames like that they're typically thinking of replacing a queen so they may have replaced her i don't know that's the problem i haven't ever marked a queen and that's why you really need to oh. so you can keep up with her if you see a new queen you know there has that's been why a mutiny. I was like, is that a bad thing or no it's not a bad thing you just don't want to go queenless altogether you know if we were queenless for a week or two weeks or you know a week we'd want to introduce a new one you know in a little in her little cage and let them adopt her or whatever but uh the pollen's bad enough without in, inhaling plastic fumes for real, or for real. styrofoam fumes but in any event uh i think that i was trying to get some really close video of that really weird looking burr comb they had done and I think what I had done, Barrett, is we left in a hurry one day, and we left a gap between the frames. Really? Yeah, about a, about an inch more than it should be there. And I think that was a little bridge cone. Because I didn't really see any queen cells in it. Now, I, I'll, have to go, I'll have to look at the video. But we didn't have the real camera today. We only had the phone. So I don't know if I can really get a good look at it or not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I need to get, um, you really need a bee suit to open up the entire hive. <laughs> they were, we had, we had five they or were six. They going overhead today. They, we had five or six after us today. Of course, you just remain calm. They won't sting you. But if we open up the whole thing, they're going to, you know, you'd end up having 20 or 30 bees flying around you. So you. We really want a bee suit, uh, which I'm not going to wear. And I'm going to need... I, I, Barrett, you got one. A half one. We talked about me getting a half one. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, Derek was going to get you... Especially a, in summer. We are going to buy a half suit from him. Yep. We could convert that other one into a half suit. <laughs> Take some shears to it. Uh... Uh, anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna hopefully get Derek down and we'll go through the whole hive and mark the queen and but they I mean it's a it's an established hive now. It's really strong. You know, I don't know why they skipped That was interesting they skipped those two They really names. didn't skip them, I guess. Well yeah they did because there was no was honey. Like nothing on there. They they've got honey going in the outer frame along the top. Did you see that? It was capped honey. I almost took my knife and cut me out of section, but we haven't taken any honey out of the hive so far. And it's mainly because of the distance. We're about 20 miles away from them. And I know if I miss a week or two weeks, I know they've got honey. You know, I know they've got their own food source. If I start robbing them of honey, I'll have to, I'll have to put a feeder there. So uh, anyway, we're natural beekeepers. We don't rob our bees, do we, Barrett? Apparently. Am I rambling yet? A month till a year. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Barrett. May 27th, 365, baby. We're going to give them a... We're going to bring a birthday cake down. <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to drive a two before stop in the in front of the hive. And I'm going to set a little miniature birthday cake on there. Let them eat it. I don't uh, think that, I'll put it... That would be I, something. We could put a wax... Oh, you know what I could do? The candle, the smoke will... I can us. make a candle... <laughs> A little candle out of the first wouldn't that be so symbolic this is the first our first hive wax that's all they produced way too creative Dave. we could make a candle out of this and put it on the birthday cake what do you think interesting <laughs> anyway <laughs> talking about rambling <laughs> anyway uh we'll try to get some better video next time guys of the bees and but no uh, appreciate you watching